Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabita fillah As we know, we live in a time of a lot of fitna A lot of trials and tribulations And one of the types of fitna that we face is the fitna between Ahlul Sunnah. And why do we say it's a fitna between Ahlul Sunnah? Because anytime you have those people or people whose usul is the same, that they have the usul, the madhab, the minhaj of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, but yet they cannot, they have discord between them, they have enmity between them, and the issue of speaking about one another becomes prevalent without evidence. And when it causes division and disharmony amongst the youth around the world, then this is a fitna and this is problematic. So it's very important for us to have some understanding about speaking about one another or when it is appropriate to speak about Ahlul Bid'ah and with regards to Ahlul Sunnah, how we should treat one another. And one thing that we have in common in all of those situations, or in both of those situations, is that we have to be just and that we have to have and we have to have knowledge about what we're speaking about. So it's not for everyone, it's not for the layperson to involve themselves his or herself in these affairs by saying so-and-so is off the sunnah, so-and-so is so-and-so on the sunnah, to, to, to deeply engage in these types of activities and preceding the statements of the ulama or to make themselves and involve and delve themselves in what has transpired between the ulama of the sunnah. So this is a very beneficial uh, portion of a treatise that Sheikh Abdullah Obilan, one of our Mashaykh and Hayal, half of Allah Ta'ala, he's also the Sheikh of Sa'id, Sheikh Sa'id uh, bin Halal, half of Allah Ta'ala, my Sheikh. And he wrote with regards to this uh, fitna that we face. He said, Yajibu. He said, this is what's obligatory upon the person who involves themselves in speaking about men, meaning that they involve themselves in the science of uh, speaking about those people who have made errors. He said, he said that the origin of his speech, meaning the one who's going to speak about someone, is that it's based upon knowledge of the truth. And that that is the intent behind it. And, or, and that the intent behind it is nasiha, is advice lillahi. And for his book. And to his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to his brother muslims fellow muslims wa an ja'al al-haqq tab'an lil hawa fasal al-qalb wa amal and that the truth should be given precedence over desires and over the wicked heart and wicked deeds قال الله تعالى ولو اتبع الحق أهواءهم لفسدت السماوات والأرض وما ومن فيهن. Allah subhanahu wa taala Allah subhanahu wa taala says in this regard, and if they give precedence uh, to their desires over the truth, then the heavens and the earth would have wickedness. Uh, inside of them. It will contain wickedness. وَقَالَ تَعَالَى And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty says 
ومن من خلقنا أمة يهدون بالحق وبه يعدلون. And Allah the Almighty says, and from them we have created, or from the Ummah, or there is a nation from those whom which we have created, they guide to the truth, and with it they use it, they are just. Then the Sheikh says, Well, Adam. أَصْلُ كُلُّ خَيْرُ وَالظُّمْ وَالْجَهْلُ أَصْلُ كُلُّ شَرْ Then the Shaykh says that justice is the origin of all good and oppression or wickedness and ignorance is the أَصْل or the foundation of all evil. والله تعالى أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق وأمره أن يعدل بين الطوائف ولا يتبع هو أحد منهم. And then the Sheikh said, and Allah the Almighty sent His Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم with guidance and with the religion of truth and uh, commanded him that he should be just between the various groups and not to follow desires of anyone from amongst them. And in this regard, Allah the Almighty said, فَلِذَلِكَ فَدْعُوا وَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتَ وَلَا تَأْتَبِعُ أَهْوَاءَهُمْ وَقُلْ أَمَنْتُ بِالْ بما أنزل الله من كتاب وأمرت لعدل بينكم الله ربنا وربكم لنا أعمالنا أعمالنا ولكم أعمالكم لا حجة بيننا وبينكم وبينكم الله يجمع بيننا وإليه المصير and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, So to the religion of Allah invite and remain on a right course as you are commanded and do not follow their inclinations but say, I have believed in what Allah has revealed of the Quran and I have been commanded to do justice among you. Allah is our Lord and your Lord. For us are our deeds and for you are your deeds. There is no need for argument between us and you. Allah will bring us together and to him is the final destination. So ahabatifillah, if we remember and reflect on just the Quran alone, the Quranic uh, ayat that the Shaykh has, has uh, presented as evidence showing the importance of justice, showing the importance of returning back to the Quran and the Sunnah to, uh, to, to implement justice and to be as an argument or a means of reference for us when we have differences. If we return back to Kitabillah, with Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we'll have success. And that those things in which we differed in, for sure will be held accountable for them. And on the day of judgment, we'll see where the truth lies. So don't be mustajil. Don't be in a hurry to jump into fitna, to jump into discord, to enter into things that you have no business involving yourself in. If you see differences between the tulab al-ilm, don't involve yourself in those differences. If you see differences between the ulama al sunnah you see one of the scholars refutes the other from Ahl Sunnah, that they're known, they were known from Ahl Sunnah. Don't be in a rush to involve yourself in those things and to just take one position when you don't have the knowledge of the issue and you don't have the prerequisite knowledge to engage in those types of uh, discussions and those types of differences between Ahl Sunnah. The point is we need harmony and we need justice. And whenever you're going to speak about someone, even if it's from Ahl Bidah, you should be just. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless our Sheikh, Sheikh Abdullah Bilal. 
and all the mashayikh of Ahlul Sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us to have harmony between Ahlul Sunnah so we can spread the dawah to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to spread the dawah of, of, of Tawheed based on ikhlas, based on thabat sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam